Hey guys, you probably came here to see how to make this one. Fly. Right? Well, let me show you. You take some photos of uh, a person kind of holding position with the figure and without. As you can see on the picture, my wife was helping my daughter. We took a bunch of them, open a Final Cut. Final Cut Pro is the program I personally use. Open a new project. 59p and that's that's I think it's gonna look good we're gonna choose uh, like two maybe four photos to to pick the best ones the ones that really match each other I'm putting the photos with the figure on top of the one without. The one without the figure is going to create a background of some sort. I took a mask and I put it on, drag it on the top photo. And then I start to mark the points that I want to cut out from this photo. We are talking about the photo uh, which is here on, on, on top. And now there are two methods. You can uh, take a longer time and cut out the whole figure or you can just cut out the hand. Uh, when you pick a mask that means that you choose the area you want to highlight, you want to use. I highlight the hand and then I click the reverse only the hand is it, it just disappears from 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 your project you see the background but as you can see here the background wasn't really same wasn't even so you press on this uh, icon here for the left for transform and then not crop yes crop and just move it a little bit to the right, to to top, if needed, you can scale it up or down. Sometimes you, you maybe need to turn it a little bit. You have to figure out depends on the needs of your photo. And as you can see, there was a little bit of the shadow, so I have to extend the mask. It's quite easy, you just uh, take the a point that you marked before. You can always add some points or reduce the amount, but it's never too many. And I extend it so the shadow would look more natural. And yeah, that was that was just a little bit extra work just to to make it fit. And after that, we yep. Let's see the whole photo. Looks pretty good, but it could be even better the shadows and then you go to you see you can see the crookedness uh, you go to feather and when you touch the feather 
it it will it will blur the area of your of your cut. So as you can see now, you cannot see those uh, terrible straight angular uh, lines of the cut. Actually, he's tight. It starts to be a little bit blurry, blurry as well. I'm gonna simply push the the point a little bit out as well, and then I go again to to crop the photo and cut the the rest of the photo. And here we have the the result product. We go to share, not export, but just below to save the current frame. That's the option in AutoCAD Pro, uh, Final Cut Pro. We're gonna call it Fly in April with Marvel or Dad. And here we have a photo already or ready for for your for your Instagram or Facebook. Uh, remember, if you don't want to have a problem with these pink nasty photos, always take the image and reduce the size. You can you can simply open an image and and re reduce it here. Uh, it's quite important because if uh, it's more than full full HD, then you're then then, then you have a problem that it's going to turn into all your hard work is going to turn turn into pink. No, so the next video from this line with uh, Final Cut Pro is going to be how to make the figure not only fly but also move a little bit. Uh, so if you are interested in this part, uh, don't forget to subscribe and and stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Take care, guys.